Hey everybody, uh, out here once again, uh, doing some exploration. Uh, this area's been largely unsearched. This is a private ranch. So uh, the owners have found a few large things poking out, uh, trying to find anything that's been missed. So out here looking for float, hoping to trail it to something good. That's croc scoot. It's the name of the game, exploration. Search and search and search. Look for the float, follow the float, hope it leads to something. It's a nice little piece of croc scoot. Where's the rest of it? That's the million dollar question. Be nice to find a whole crock laying out up here. That looks like tendon. It's another bit of something. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at here. That's a big old chunk of a rib. And we've got quite a few pieces of it right here. Play the jigsaw game. This thing is really broken up. This has been laying here for quite a while. come from oh there you are I see it right there something is coming out of that wall let's climb up here and take a look oh, wait, there's a Another chunk that is probably part of the same one. There's a chunk. Did I miss you before? Helps to change the angle which you look at because one direction it will blend in and another direction it will stand out. So if you are looking, if you think you found a spot, start at the bottom and look up. Go up and look down. There's a lot of little chunks right there. Okay, back up to look at this thing. This is exciting. Stone, 
ironstone. like most of a rib probably ducky can't be sure though it's larger here tapers down small end is in probably right back in here the head would have curved this would have been the attachment head right here it looks like it's probably missing a lot of pieces most of it is here so we will collect this excavate this out here see how far back it goes I'll bet this is close to the end I'll bet most of this is already exposed we'll clear this off and then we'll collect these pieces and then see if maybe there's more close by frustrating you can tell by how sun bleached white this is this has been weathered out and exposed for quite a long time and this that I'm working off the surface is probably just stuff that's washed down from the rain and covered it up again giving it a little protection It looks like it's probably missing some in here that is washed away. These hollow spots back in here. This is definitely mud washed down from the top that has simply come down and covered this. Set you off to the side. Alrighty, well I was wrong about the orientation and the end of the, which end of the rib this was. You know, it looked, you know, it's thicker here and it was getting thinner here so it looked like it was tapering down. 
but it turns out it looks like this may have been going up to the head the head would have been coming off of this way and it's already gone if it was originally there this is the head and it's going this way though I'm not sure why there's a 90 degree there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some foil since these are already on the surface so I'm going to wrap those up in foil in their position that they're at you can see I've been excavating back behind here I'm going to finish excavating all of this and my plan is to put this in a a plaster jacket and take it down out of here that way originally I just thought we were going to have some individual broken pieces I could just take them out individually kind of like I do the the baculite pieces lay them in foil wrap them up and it'd be good but all of this is still connected so I don't want to break that apart and if I try and wrap that in foil and take it out without a plaster jacket that is definitely going to come apart and make the prep process a hundred times worse so that's our plan foil I foil up all the float that was down there I'll search around for a little bit more float make sure hopefully I'm not missing too much plaster and pull this out I've got to finish working on this pedestal oh it's really kind of difficult because ideally you want the pedestal to go down and undercut slightly but this is all clay stone in here and so every time I try and cut it move some just big chunks come out it I'm trying I was trying to leave a little bit on the outside of the fossil every time I brush it more of it just comes away so I just have to do the best I can on this one eternity later okay there it is it's pedestaled about as good as I can get it I'm afraid if I get if I try and do any more it's gonna wind up shifting and fracturing the bone So we run right from about here all the way down to here. It's very nice sized. Now we just wait for somebody to show up and bring me some plaster. The wind coming up and trying to blow this off. Thank you. Okay, there she is. We shall have to wait an hour and hope I did a good enough job. 
That should be good. Six hours later. Turn it up that way. Okay, you ready? Okay, on, on three. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Got it. Yay. Yeah, that really wanted to crumble. It did, and that's what I was worried about. But we got it out. Yep. And I'm sliding. And there she is flipped. Did try to break apart a little bit. I think we got it out intact. It is heavy. It's not fully hardened, so just be careful. You got it? Yep. Whoa. 